Hey Hi Tech Legion, this is Skate and Eric to show you one of the newer motherboards from Asus. This is a part of their Z68 line. This is the P8Z68 Deluxe. What this motherboard does is add a ton of connectivity features for those uh, looking for high performance and high connections. Alright, now here is the motherboard outside of the box and the first thing that you're going to notice is that uh, the layout's just a little different from the other Z68 motherboards. Uh, first thing you'll see is the heatsink square around the CPU there, but they have the same color scheme and layout. Another thing that you're going to notice is the extra 6G ports. Uh, this is the Marvell controller that they've added onto this board to add a four total 6G ports besides the Intel. You'll also see a couple rearranges. The TPU and EPU switches are no longer at this top corner up here. We have just the TPU switch and then the EPU switch is way down at the bottom here, but we still get the power and reset buttons right next to it. And then right up here we have the MEM OK button. Typically the TPU, EPU switches and the MEM OK button were grouped up here on the top corner of the motherboard. Another thing you're going to see is the extra USB 2.0 pins at the bottom there, which gives the motherboard a total of 12. Uh, you get eight on the rear of the motherboard and then an extra four with the pins here. Then we also have the LED readout for boot and post codes. Uh, the board does have the QLED system that will show you, you know, where the boot processes are happening, but then we also have the code readout there if necessary. Now for expansion we get the PCIe 2.0 16x slots. There are three of them we get the two PCIe 1X slots and then two PCI slots. Now for USB they use the NEC controller which still gives us the front pin header there and then we also get the two extra USB port 3.0 ports on the back. Now this is a Z68 motherboard so we get the Intel features such as the LGA 1155 socket for the Sandy Bridge processor, the four DIMM slots here that support DDR3 2200 with overclocking, the Z68 Express chipset also supports the four Intel SATA 3G ports and the two 6G ports, and those ports support the Intel RST which has the SSD caching. And then with the deluxe motherboard, we also get the dual gigabit LAN, which uh, there is one Intel gigabit LAN and then also the Realtek gigabit LAN. Now, if we take a look at the back side here, we can see the back panel I.O. inputs. Instead of the four USB ports across the top, what we get here is a PS2 keyboard mouse and two USB ports. Our coaxial SPDIF and optical. We have the Bluetooth receiver, two USB ports, and the eSATA port. Two more USB ports, FireWire, and a powered eSATA port. Two gigabit LANs, the Intel and the Realtek. USB 2.0 port, the extra USB 3.0 port. There's a clear CMOS button on the back side here, so no longer is it on the inside. They have it on the back panel for easy access and pressing and then our audio 3.5 millimeter jacks. Now for features, uh, there's the usual ASUS features that have come on both the Z68 and the P67 motherboards. We get the Digi Plus VRM which uses the 16 phase power design, the EPU TPU switch which uses auto tuning, uh, and the EPU energy savings, uh, the Turbo V, there's the BT Go with the Bluetooth connectivity, uh, Memo K, AI Suite, AI Charger, Anti Surge, Disk Unlocker, uh, the EFI BIOS. There's the thermal solutions like the Fan Expert, and then the DIY stuff, the Q Shield, Q Connectors, etc. Okay, now inside the box we get all of the accessories. We get the extra SATA cables here, which there are six total. We get the two 3G and then the four 6G cables. 
There's the Q connectors, the SLI bridge, and then our Q shield, the driver installation CD, the user manual, and then one of the better things that is included with this is the front panel USB port. This would plug into the front PID header on the motherboard and then the panel itself would slide into the 3.5 external bay on your case. So if you have a case that does support a 3.5 external drive, you can just plug this right in there and then pop the cable on your front pin header and then what you would have is an extra two USB 3.0 ports on the front. Uh, you could negate using those ones on the back side if you want or if you just rather have all four on the front you can plug in the four on the front. And that's the P8Z68 Deluxe Motherboard from Asus.